Now up, the boy Joel O'Tee's Brooklyn Zone. Yo, what's up? This your man Royce the Five Nine, represent Detroit. King Crooked, Long Beach, East Side. What's up? West Coast, salute. Yo, and it's your boy Jump Up, Joe Button. I'm running a little behind. Beer Gang. <laughs> When I was young, rappers kind of educated me on a lot of things that maybe a father would, since my father wasn't there. So, um, listening to different rappers growing up, they said things and mentioned things that made me go and do research. Like, what is he talking about? You know what I'm saying? And I want to inspire that same, you know, feeling into a person. Like, yo, what the hell is? What is he talking about? You know what I mean? And then maybe they'll take something away from it. More, you know, when they listen to the song, they'll leave with more than they came with. When I was when I was coming up, there, you know, when I was a fan of it, there was a fan of so much, and there was so much to pick from. So when, you know, I thought I had to be the illest, and that's how I would succeed if I wanted to be an aspiring right. rapper. Right. These kids only have to select from this. Right now, the kid that's trying to get on a radio in New York City is trying to make a, a trap hit. That's what he's uh, associating success. Of, of, of his career. Like if I can find a, if I can make him do this, I'm in. And it's fine. But there should be more things for him to select from and, and, when and he's trying to become, you know, an, an artist. I mean, that's why I like the battle rap community because the battle rap community understands bars. Now, that radio hit single that you just wrote doesn't mean nothing if you get in there and you face Hollow, you face Loaded Lux, you face Murder Mook. That what you did, now we're gonna see what skill is. So I can always say that this is skill and this is not as much skill. Once you start talking about preference and opinion, there is really no right or wrong. Yeah. You know, so who, who is there to determine what's whack and what's not, you know? It's whack, well, it's, it's, it's whack, it's no, whack I, to you. Yeah. You know, it's whack. But it resonates yeah, with, someone with somebody else. else. Yeah. But so no, that, yeah. that automatically makes it to where it's not whack. Because it resonates, but with at the somebody. same time, like with you, when it comes to boxing, you understand the sport of boxing, you know what I mean? So just with the lyricism, we all understand the technicalities of lyricism. We understand metaphors, rhyme schemes, similes, different patterns, different ways of breathing, breath control. That's something that a lot of rappers don't even understand is breath control. So mm -hmm. we understand everything down to the smallest fucking fragment of rapping. So when I hear someone rapping, I know for a fact that they're whack at rapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what they have created might resonate with someone, right. and people might like it, and we know that whack shit becomes hits. We know that. But if I listen with my technical ear and what I do, of course I can say that's whack, whack. Yep. because they lack the talent to keep on beat. They lack the talent to make a good metaphor. They lack the talent to do what is, you know, a dope simile. They lack it. That's what it is with me. It's, so the, it's, it's the rhythm. It's the Once rhythm. I start going to open mics and I seen guys like Proof, M, L's, I, those were my first, this was before YouTube, like, you know what I mean? Like, so that, that was my first time witnessing somebody getting murdered lyrically, you know what I mean? So, you know, I was fascinated with that. So from that, so I started adding a little bit more aggression to my style. I would write a rhyme on Wednesday, memorize it by the following Tuesday so I could spit a brand new rap that people haven't heard because we all go there every week and every rhyme sound like it's to somebody. Aggressive. People say, well, I can't believe Eminem did the Ray Rice line and you know, Lana Del Rey, it's like, listen man, what, you, what you're getting to peek into is the world of the underground rapper brought to a mainstream level. Right. So it's like, do you want to see it or not? Do you want the real or don't you? If we were in the underground doing a cypher at some underground spot, it's going to be a blood sport. It's going right. to be disrespectful lines flying all over the place. Mm. And that's just what it is. And M is a master at bringing that to the mainstream. Mm.